Which direction are we going? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Everybody has questions. Hold on. Let me go. Okay. There you go. That's all you need. You need your trigger finger. Oh, we're not going in here? Okay. Okay, everybody uh, uh, here is walking for this next session. Yeah. All right, so let's let's split up. Uh, I don't know who's who, so who's your group? We got three. Okay, I need three guys over here. We got four. All right, that's perfect. Okay, here's the game plan, guys. Gather around, listen up. We're gonna split the ranch in half for you guys. You guys are gonna hunt the north side. You guys are gonna hunt the south side. Here's your boundaries. There's a fence way on the north. There's a fence way on the south. You can't get past that. There's a front of the ranch with a fence. You can't get past that. Here's where you have to pay attention. This road coming in, there were red T posts marked with little flags on them, and it goes all the way down to the ranch, uh, to, to the T to the down there. Do not cross this road because you'll be on each other's side, okay? Don't cross that boundary. And you cannot cross this road anywhere and not see that, so there's no excuse if you cross that. You're just walking like this. They're 30, 40, 50 feet apart. You cannot miss them. That's an important boundary to pay attention. Down on the east end of the ranch are trees. It's real thick forest down there with trees with red marks on them. Don't go down there because you're going to have guns pointed right back at you. Do not go into those trees. Once you see the trees, stop. You don't have to walk up to them. The hunting is not right there, all right? Turn around and come back. Uh, if you shoot a hog and you're within 100 yards of a fence line, walk up to the fence line. Every round pole has a number on it. Call me with that number so I'll know where you're at. Your whole group stay with that hog until we pick it up. All right, we'll get out there right away. It's like bird hunting. Line up in a straight line and, and hunt in a straight line. Nobody get in front because you have loaded guns to your back, okay? So pay attention. Uh, now, if the hogs end up behind you, you've got a loaded gun, possibly with your finger on the trigger. Don't be sweeping around with the guy standing next to you with a loaded gun like this. If you have to turn around with that gun, lower that gun hard to the ground, turn around, raise it back up, make a shot. If you have a semi-automatic gun, keep that safety on unless you're about to pull the trigger. So don't be walking around with that safety off. Very important. All right. Uh, be back here at 1 o'clock sharp, so allow enough time in the field. We had some guys that came in late yesterday. We don't want that because we're doing a head count, a safety count, on time, 1 o'clock sharp, in line for, for, uh, for, for lunch. I think that's about it. On <coughs> You guys just go right behind this cabin, line up in a straight line, and head east. When you get down there, turn around. You can change your depth this way, and then you're hunting in the dune east or west. Don't east hunt west. diagonal. You're cutting your hunting ground short. And just yeah. work it back and forth, back and forth, because when they get to shooting, hogs are going to run out this way. And they get to shooting in the bottom, and it's good that we have hunters in the bottom, because that's where the hogs go when you guys get up here, but they're going to flush them back <coughs> to you. So don't walk it twice and say, no hogs. They don't work that way. There's a barbless wire fence on either side of camp. Just swing back behind it. Don't go underneath it or don't shoot into the fence because that's protecting camp. Just stay on that side of it and just work the hunting ground out there and I'll see you guys when you call me for a hog pickup. Excellent. Right. Good luck. Thank you.